Come join us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to everybody. Um, we're delighted that you're all here, gathered from near and from, from far away, um, for this sort of occasion for the wedding of Sridhari and Roman. Um, let me begin, begin by, with a personal note. Um, many of you might have two people whose hearts and spirits are intertwined. They now desire to profess before the world their intention to go forth to walk the road of life together. The ceremony is obviously not pure Hindi and not pure Russian Orthodox, but is what the bride and groom wanted to honor their union. Their beliefs and thoughts about love, which motivate these two people, are expressed in the words of the poet William Shakespeare. And I call upon Dr. Padim Padala, um, who is married to Shreder's close friend Rachna, um, to read to us. Thank you, Max. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Uh, I actually, Shreder calls me Anna, uh, meaning that brother. So it's an honor to read this. Uh, so I'm going to read the Shakespeare's uh, Sonnet 116. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the removal to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose worth is unknown, although his height be taken. Love is not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me, upon me prove, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. Thank you, Padeep. Now the groom, Roman, would like to express his love for his bride by reading aloud a poem by Joel. And his close friend, Genya, will read us the translation in English. Thank you, Max. Joel, the poem. Я буду стоять над тобой, всю ночь напролет. Я буду смотреть на тебя, всю ночь напролет. Сквозь твои ужасные сны я приду к тебе и буду рядом, держать тебя за руку и говорить, что все в порядке. Когда ты заплачешь, я буду рядом и буду говорить, что ты никогда не будешь выглядеть хуже, чем просто красивый. Так что не беспокойся, я твой ангел Фанин. Спасибо. All through the night, I'll be standing over you. All through the night, I'll be watching over you. And through the bad dreams, I'll be right there, baby. Holding your hand, <laughs> telling you everything is all right. And when you cry, I'll be right there, telling you you were never anything less than beautiful. So don't worry, I am your angel standing by. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Shenya. And I'm pretty sure that was not from the TV inspired part of the. <laughs> And now the bride would like to read a poem to express her love for her groom. And our friend Rachna will translate the poem for us. Oh my dearest, why did my crazy heart start to soar on being love? Where from came such courage? Oh my dearest, oh my dearest. Teasing and taunting, the breeze touches me and plays havoc with my heart. Even the raindrops won't let me be. Their touch on my skin reminds me of you. 
In close conspiracy is this whole world to make me fall in love with you. Every little particle of the world is contriving to make me fall in love with you. Oh my dearest, oh my dearest. My glances reveal the unspoken words of my heart. No wonder people are admonishing and gossiping about our love. <laughs> the, lang the language of my heart, oh, the hidden language of my heart. My love demands, my love prays for a stormy union. Please tread softly, please be tender with me, because my love for you is so vulnerable and young. I promise to love and cherish you. I feel as if under my bare feet are hot coals, yet I keep walking. It feels as if the people who raised me are strangers. I plead with you to take me with you to your land, where I can love you freely. Oh, this cruel world of mine and its customs are the enemy of my heart. <laughs> but hopefully no longer. <laughs> <laughs> it is also important to mention the role of family members to the bride and groom. Roman's mother, Valentina Yakovlevna, raised her son by herself through many difficulties. She was widowed when Roman was eight years old, and she sacrificed a lot for the sake of her only son. Also, Shridari's father, Harihara Nath, decided to raise her and her sister, Sri Lakshmi, as if they were boys. I didn't write this myself, trust me. <laughs> and I continue to say, and I didn't write this myself. In India, girls are considered unimportant and accorded secondary status. But Sridari's father decided to raise his girls as he would raise sons. Her father spared no expense in educating them, even though things were very rough for him at times. Sridari and her sister are eternally grateful to him and their mother, Usha. Now, the next part of the ceremony wasn't really clear about what should occur next. I would give it a great deal of latitude. Um, it could be a time to expand um, on the bride and groom's intellectual accomplishments. Um, but you already know all that. <laughs> and sometimes people who have my role at a wedding offer recommendations about future additional members of your family. But to be quite honest, I do that is none of my business. So, um, so, so, so I was kind of struggling for what I would talk about. Um, but the good news is that I do know about something that's relevant to getting married. Um, Getting married is a decision on both of your parts, and I know something about decision making. <laughs> and getting married is subsumed under the topic of negotiation, <laughs> where negotiation is defined as a decision process, process involving two or more people who don't, do not have identical preferences. <laughs> and trust me, based on my 32 years of marriage to Marla, you will not always have identical preferences. Okay. Now, in some weddings, other weddings, the friends and family often question the wisdom of their loved one's decision to get married. So my expertise on decision making could come in handy here. Um, as many of you know, Schroeder studies decision making. And uh, Roman created a quite thorough Excel spreadsheet <laughs> rating women on various dimensions. Shridari <laughs> won on distance. <laughs> and then after Roman met Shridari, um, apparently he decided to ignore all the data in the spreadsheet. <laughs> there are also some questions about the methodological soundness of the weeding function of the Excel <laughs> But this is really not the time and the place to go into that. But, with this as background, and with the power vested in me, based on over 30 years as a teacher and researcher on decision-making negotiation, I would like to let you know three conclusions that I've reached. But before I do, I also want to let you make it clear that this is the audience, audience participation part of the ceremony. So as I offer each of my three conclusions, you're welcome to applaud loudly, loudly if you agree. <laughs> <laughs> so the first conclusion, Roman, you have made a good decision to marry you. Now to the second conclusion. Sweetery, you've made a good decision in our role. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, onward. Um, now to my conclusion based on what I know about negotiation. Um, in negotiation, it's important to make wise trades across issues. So it's good to know what each of you value. 
And based on data coming from um, a, a, web, a website relevant to your connection, we know that Roman <laughs> values his computer running through his keys, families, and friends. And Schroedery values A, E, I, O, U, and all the consonants. <laughs> um, so knowing the priorities can be useful as you make trade-offs um, across time. But this stuff about how to make trades and create value in negotiation, a lot of people find it overrated because what they really want to know okay, is, did I get a good deal? <laughs> um, so, so, with a reminder to the audience to apply if you're in agreement, my third conclusion is, you are both getting a good deal. <laughs> and now to the task of binding your lives together. The bride and groom will perform the 2,000-year-old North Indian wedding ritual called Saptapadi. They will go around the uh, sacred fire, um, the candle, um, seven times to solemnize their love for each other and then say their vows to each other. I would like to call on the bride's mother, Usha, um, to help us with this part of the ceremony. <laughs> Yes, you are. Three to reception is proactive, and that is true. <laughs> And this one goes to Harvard professors Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sachat Parabrahma, Tasmay Sri Guru in Namaha. become mine forever. Yes, we have become partners. I have become yours. Hereafter, I cannot live without you. Do not live without me. Let us share all our joys. We are word and meaning united. Your thought and I'm sound. May the night be honey sweet for us. May the morning be honey sweet for us. May the earth be honey sweet for us. May the heavens be honey sweet for us. May the plants be honey sweet for us. May the sun be all honey for us. Most important part, may the cows yield us honey sweet milk. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gem, forgive us for this portion. <laughs> as the heavens are stable, as the earth is stable, as the mountains are stable, as the whole universe is stable, so may our union be permanently You may now take the Mangal Sutra and cut and, and, oh, and tie it around um, place it on. You may 
now apply this indoor issue. I still have a final question for the audience. Hopefully this is a rhetorical question, but nevertheless, before I ask you the question, there's a, a, a needed word of clarification because we have many academics here. Um, I'm going to be asking a question, and um, this is not an academic seminar, so you're not supposed to intervene just to create an argument here. Um, so you should only intervene if you actually have something to say. Um, that, may not, that may be a good recommendation for academic seminars, but it's more relevant here. Okay, so with that as background for the academics particularly, um, here we go. If anyone can show just a legal cause why Schwittering may not be joined, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. With this broad agreement that closing this deal makes sense, it is time to exchange for the exchange of wedding vows. We are gathered here to unite Schwittery and Roman in matrimony. This wedding ceremony is celebrated not because you have reached some goal, but rather to recognize the, deter the determination you both share in face to face the future together. Marriage marks a significant step in your lives, an opportunity for you to experience joy through mutual support and harmonious unity. All of us present wish you well on this journey. Keep in mind that the supreme expression of your mutual dedication draws its strengths from your integrity as individuals, and it must support your individual individuality in order to, to thrive. It is therefore important for each of you to maintain a strong sense of self while sharing a sense of purpose or mission with the other. And so, being fully aware of the profound significance of making this commitment in the presence of the witnesses gathered here, do you, Roman, come here freely and without reservation to take this woman, Shridari, as your lawfully wedded wife? I do, Max. And do you, Shridari, come here freely and without reservation to take this man, Roman, as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <laughs> Quite dramatic. Okay. Um, I will now ask you to recite your vows. Roman, please repeat after me. I, Roman, take you, Shridari. I, Roman, take you, Shridari. To be my beloved wife. To be my beloved wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Ashridari, please repeat after me. Ashridari, take your Roman. Ashridari, take your Roman. To be my beloved husband. To me, to be my beloved husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or for poorer. In sickness and health. In sickness and in health. And, until death do us part. Until death do us part. Thank you. Rudy Ray and Roman, you have exchanged vows joining yourself to each other in the presence of family and friends. It therefore gives me great pleasure, by virtue of the authority vested in me as a commissioner of marriage by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, <laughs> to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride and groom again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, by way of announcements, um, the reception will be at Tanjore.